Hello there guys, welcome to another video from AWS Mate. Do you wish to create an image from existing EC2 instance and save it as a backup or you wish to launch a new EC2 instance without any conflict? Then you're in the right place. Let's have a look how it can be done. Creating an image from EC2 instance is pretty straightforward. Uh, all you need to do is log into EC2 console, select the EC2 instance, go to actions, select image and templates, and then select create image. Next, you need to provide the image name and image description. You can select the option if you want to reboot the EC2 instance or not. Then we can add an additional volume, and then we can add tags. For tags, we have two different options same tag for both image and the snapshots or have separate tag for image and the snapshots once all the details have been provided click on the create image button emi consists of emi template and also the evs volume snapshots so if you go into snapshots you'll see a snapshot in progress Now if we go into EMI, we can see the status of the EMI creation as well. Once the EMI status is available, we can select the EMI and then click on the launch instance from image to launch a new EC2 instance from this image. Creating an image this way will help you create a backup of the instance. However, if you wish this to be a golden image, so you can launch multiple instances, then you need to perform sysprep within the instance. Sysprep is a Windows process that removes unique information from a Windows installation, including the Instant Security Identifier, aka SID, computer name, drivers, and some other information. This is performed so that you can reuse the image on different computers. For more information about Sysprep, please refer to Microsoft documentation that I have mentioned in the video description. Each EC2 instance has EC2 config or EC2 launch tool installed. AWS uses these tools to manage the instances and perform some specific tasks, such as execution of the user data, performing sysprep, static routes to reach the metadata, setting up computer name, setting up wallpaper that renders information about instance, sending instance information to the EC2 console, sending RDP certificate thumbprint to the EC2 console, setting a random password for the administrator, and so on and so forth. There are three types of configuration services EC2 config, EC2 launch, and EC2 launch v2. EC2 config is used for Windows Server 2012 R2 and earlier operating systems. EC2 launch is used for Windows Server 2016 and 2019. EC2 launch v2 is supported on Windows Server 2008 SP2 up to Windows Server 2022. AWS recommends using these configuration services to perform the sysprep. Let's have a look how it can be done on each one of the configuration servers. For Windows Server 2008 R2 using EC2 config service, click on start and select EC2 config service. You can also find that under all programs. If it's not visible, you can go to this path to find the exe. Once open, go to the image tab and click on shutdown with sysprep. Agree to the pop-up. And let's wait for sysprep to generalize the instance and shut it down. Please don't perform this on a production instance, otherwise it will generalize the production instance. Once the instance stops, you can follow the same process as we discussed earlier to create the EMI. For Windows Server 2016 with Easy to Launch, click on Start and select Easy to Launch Settings. You can find the application under this path as well. Make the selection for administrator password, either you want it random or you want to specify a password, and then click on shutdown with sysprep. Wait for the instance to be automatically shut down. Once stopped, you can proceed with the same steps as we discussed earlier to create the AMI. For Windows Server 2022 with easy to launch v2, Click on Start and under Amazon Web Services folder, select Amazon EC2 Launch Settings. Here you have the option if you want to specify an administrator account or if you want it to be set or not. 
and also an option to define the administrator password or randomize the password. Once the selection has been made, click on shutdown with sysprep and wait for the instance to be stopped. Once stopped, proceed with the AMI creation. As I mentioned earlier, please do not perform sysprep on your production instance as it will generalize the existing instance and can cause issues. Therefore, I would suggest to perform it on a test or a dev instance. If you wish to perform it on a production instance, then create an image from it, launch a clone instance in a different VPC, and follow the process discussed to perform the sysprep and then create an image. This is it from me today. Please do not hesitate to leave a comment if you have any trouble following this image creation process. Thank you and have a great day.